quick easy slingshot anybody can make at home using simple tools none of which include power tools. So for this project you're going to need a saw, a rasp, this is a half round wood rasp, um, a circular file for the band grooves, and some sandpaper. Let's do this. Also a ruler or a, one of these right angles square things is nice too. Three and three quarters across, marked at the bottom of my hand, so we'll be cutting it out about like that. I about went to my bandsaw, but we're using no power tools, so we're using this thing. It's also nice if you have a vise. Okay, now, we could just, right now, just round the tips off and make band grooves, but we're gonna make it a little nicer, and we're gonna flatten one side with the rasp. Done. I'm just going to go ahead and round the tips off right now. Tips are rounded. Oh wait, I still have to round the back off. That's rounded off. So now we're gonna put the band grooves in. There we go. I didn't go all the way around with the tips, but the bands are gonna stay on no problem. Um, just now I went over it with some 150 and made sure it was smooth, but. Yeah, there you go, simple slingshot. Didn't take very long, less than an hour, it's probably like 30 minutes. We're gonna put some boiled linseed oil on it and some bands, and we're gonna shoot it. I'm not really expecting a huge change here, but there's before. Yeah, there you go. Nice little natural. Last step, boiled linseed oil and beeswax paste. This is not going to make it look any better. This is just going to protect the wood from rain and weather and all that. The no power tool natty is finished. Um, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. It was a quick build, nothing much. Anyone can make one of these. Four simple tools, saw, circular file, rasp, sandpaper. There we go, there's the thumbnail. Let's go shoot it. Okay, we're gonna start shooting. Um, I've got a new backdrop system. We've had our fair share of ricochets. Roll the clips. Got it. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, it's just a thick rubber pad hanging from my sister's old gymnastic bar thing, so. Um, it's not gonna catch the ammo, but it's not gonna, they won't ricochet as much. Now we'll just go for a spoon. Yep, it still bounces back a little bit. It was just a little bit low. A little high. There we go. One spoon down. Two spoons down. Whoa. Threes. Ricochet. I'm um, gonna we'll go for the can.
spoon on the post. Oh, I nipped it. A uh, little skull thing on the top of the post. Ooh, that was close. We'll just reuse that. Spinny bird on the post. Whoa. Woo! Woo! Damn, that scared me. This guy just jumped on my foot. Yo, he's on my foot. Get off me, bro. That was a lizard, by the way, if you didn't see it. Spoon. Last two shots. There we go. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the making of this simple, no power tool, natural floor slingshot that any of you guys can make at home. Um, it shoots good. It's great to get into the sport. If this is a sport, I don't know. Yeah, it shoots pretty good. I was hitting everything pretty consistently. And yeah, if you have any suggestions on how to catch my ammo after it hits the big rubber pad, let me know in the comments because I'm losing a lot of ammo. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.